हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द पावर बी आई जीरो टू हीरो प्ले लिस्ट माय नेम इज संदीप रतूरी इफ यू हैव बीन फॉलोइंग दिस प्ले लिस्ट इन वन ऑफ द वीडियोस आई एक्सप्लेन द ड्रिल थ्रू फंक्शनैलिटी इन पावर बी आई इन डिटेल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू क्रिएट ए ड्रिल थ्रू बटन इट इज सिमिलर टू द ड्रिल थ्रू फंक्शनैलिटी बट द की डिफरेंस इज दैट यू नेविगेट टू द ड्रिल थ्रू पेज यूजिंग अ बटन फर्स्ट I will demonstrate how the drill through button works, and then we will implement it step by step. As you can see here in the cluster column chart and pie chart, I am displaying category-wise sales. And at the bottom, you can see the arrow button. Right now, the arrow button is grayed out. The moment I select any category from the chart, the drill through button gets activated. once you click on the button it will navigate to you drill through page where you can view detailed information about selected category on the page you will see a back button that allows you to return the source page and earlier i select the category from the cluster column chart but you can select the category from any visual as long as it is displayed in that visual so now i am selecting the category from the pie chart and you can see here the drill through button has been activated and it is showing the selected category keep in mind that the drill through button works only for a single category at a time same like actual drill through functionality i hope this explanation provides you with a clear understanding of how the drill through button works Let's start the practical demonstration. First, add some visual to the report page like this. Make sure you display the columns in the visual that you want to use for drill through. In this example, I want to view detailed information about the category column on the drill through page. Now, create a measure to display the selected category in the visual. So, for that, right click on the orders data set name and select the new measure. after that provide the measure name selected category and here we will use selected value dax function which stores the selected category and here we will pass the category column name from orders data set close the bracket and click on commit button now you can see here measure has been created for selected category next we will add a drill through page so for that click on plus icon and provide the page name detailed view and here you can add the necessary columns which you want to show as a drill through information so for that go to the visualization pan and here add one table visual in the report page and by press and all the corner of table visual you can manage the height and width for the table visual like this and here we will add some columns so first we will add category column then you can add sub category column after that we will add product name sales profit and you can also add the country name in a start also you can add the reason column so now we are good with columns and after that to enable the drill through functionality for the category add the category column to the drill through section so if you will scroll down so here you can see the drill through section and here we will add the category column like this and you will notice that a back arrow button is automatically enabled at the top of the report page this happens by default whenever you add columns to the drill through section this back button allows user to navigate back to the source page now go to the main page now we will add a button for the drill through so for that go to the insert tab and here you can see the buttons option click on buttons drop down and here select the right arrow button now press and hold the button and then move it like this and place it whenever you want by press and hold the corner of button increase the button width like this because here we will display the selected category name 
Now we will do the formatting for the button. So select the button and go to the format button tab, turn on the action and here in type drop down, select the drill through. In the destination drop down, select the drill through page name, detailed view. After that, scroll up and expand the style section and turn on the text. Click on function icon and in this drop down, expand the orders data set and select the selected category measure and click on OK. To test the output of the selected category measure, simply select any category. Here I am clicking on office supplies and here you can see the selected category name. Now we will adjust the distance between button icon and text and also we will manage the font size and color for the button. So for that again go to the style section and here first we will increase the text size by 18 pixel and after that we will set the horizontal alignment for the text. So click on left and then scroll down, expand the icon section and first we will change the color. So from here you can choose any color for the button. So I am using this color. Then scroll down and we will change the horizontal alignment for the arrow button. So click on right. So here you can see now we are good with formatting. After that we will provide the tooltip message. Scroll down under action. You can see the tooltip section. And here we will provide the tooltip information. If category is selected, what information you want to show as a tooltip? So here we will provide view selected category information. Click here. And if category is not selected, what information you want to show as a tooltip? So we will provide select any single category from the visual. Now we will test this. So right now you can see here office supplies category selected. So when you hover over in the button, so you can see the message view selected category information click here. So once you will click on button, so it will navigate to you drill through page and here you can see the selected category detailed label information. And once you click on back button, so it will navigate to your source page. And now you can see here nothing is selected. So when you hover over in the drill through button, so it will show you the message, select any single category from the visual. And now I am clicking on technology category. And here you can see it is showing technology category. And you can see the message, view selected category information, click here, click on the button. And it will navigate to you again drill through page. And here you can see the technology category detail level information. That's all for this video. I hope you understand how to create a drill through button. If you like the video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.